Welcome back, New County family. Hope you're having a good day. I've been getting a lot of emails lately trying to touch base on hand feeding or feeding from a bowl. What do you choose to do with your dog? Both dogs are a little over two years old and we still hand feed whiskey every single day, twice a day. Freedom eats from a slow feeder, but we do sometimes hand feed her if I want to teach her something new. Whiskey still eats by hand to this day because he's a very dominant dog and it is crucial and beneficial to him in so many ways to just continue hand feeding. In the beginning, what we did with both puppies is we put a little food in our hand and we would sit and we would food bore. We'd say, free, Ew. yes. Once Freedom got the hang of the food glory, we would move to a voice command only. We would say, Freedom, heal. Yes. Then, once Free got the hang of the food glory, moved on to the voice command, we would move on to hand signals only. And we would say, Freedom. Yes. Now we've done food glory voice command, and hand signals. Apply that to all of your commands. Now once you've run out of things to do, apply distance between you and the dog. Free, heal, down, wait. Free, heal, yes. I had one person ask me how much food you should put in your hand when you are hand feeding. Well, it depends on the dog. So I say gauge it by if you put it in your hand and he can or she can eat it without dropping any pieces, that is a perfect amount. If you were doing grabbing a handful and giving it to them and pieces are falling, that is too much in your hand. Put less in your hand. So make sure you're not doing things in repetition. So if you're a big fan of like sit, shake, down, spin, make sure that sometimes you're mixing up and you're going spin, shake, sit, wave. You know, don't always start with the same command. So if today you start with heel, tomorrow make sure you start with wave. Yes, good girl. Always add something new and change it. And that just helps them learn and keep growing. You both grow a bond together the more you learn together. So if you're just gonna sit here and just hand feed and there's no purpose to why you're doing it, you will not see any benefits out of hand feeding. But if you make them work for it, you will see the benefits, I can guarantee it. If you find the need that you need to just sit, wait. Then you work on commands like that. You work on the fact that he can't have that until you say that he can. No matter what you do, no matter cheese, applesauce, peanut butter, no matter what you say, those are things that you can work on stationary. But when you say yes, that helps teach patience, respect, manners. If you find that your dog is being a little snatchy about taking the food out of your hand, a tip that I would give is when you take this much food, he's going to use his whole mouth to try to take it out of your hand in one bite. But if you take just a couple of pieces in your hand, he's going to be able to use his tongue and be a lot more gentle. And if you repeat that effect of just a couple of pieces, they'll get the hang of being a lot nicer and not snatching. Do you use a slow feeder? Be the slow feeder, use your hand. These things are such a pain to wash. I wanna give a big shout out to everyone that has reached out asking for help with a pack member of yours. I truly appreciate you taking the time to write me. I get lots of letters about aggressive dogs and the number one thing I say is hand feed your dog. The impact it makes is tremendous. It has truly helped many pack members and their families. I still hand feed whiskey to this day because he is a very dominant dog. It helps keep him structured. I also apply these tips given today on my walks. When I first started walking them on a leash, I would only give them half their breakfast and I would take the other half of their food and I would take it out on the walk and use that as training. So if you're having a problem walking your dog on a leash or out in public of any behavior, another good thing you can do is keep half of their breakfast, half their dinner, 
go out and use those same methods that you're using. If you're having them sit and shake and do all these things out in public, it shows them that they can be comfortable and helps them grow as a dog. It helps them grow confidence in places they normally wouldn't have it. If you hand feed or you've tried hand feeding and this has benefited you in some way, please take the time to leave a comment below. Let's all help each other out and find ways to help every dog have a better life within their pack. A little tip for the people trying to teach, look at me. You're gonna put some food in your hand. Either hand doesn't matter. You're gonna hold it out. You're gonna make, now Whiskey already knows this command so it's a little bit harder, but you're gonna make all sorts of funny noises. Until that dog looks at you. The second that dog makes eye contact, yes, reward. The focus that you can teach them during feeding is the most amazing thing. Look at me. Yeah. Take advantage of that. You gotta feed them anyways.